Hi. I'm really cold. It's 24 in the morning because my sleep pattern's all over the place. But there are a series of trailers for FF14 from the London Fan Fest, which I couldn't be at because work gets in the way of these things. So I'm going to watch them, and it's starting with the new job, which is apparently called Viper. So this is the melee job, so it's not going to be a, a kind of Corsair, piratey, swashbuckly thing. Viper. Probably shortened to VPR. I can't imagine they could get away with VIP as their acronym, but again, some of this detail is probably already known. It's probably been revealed on the keynote. I haven't watched the keynote because I was asleep, frankly. So I, I, I don't know any of this, but we've got a, a small number of trailers to watch, and I have queued them all up. Whether I will be able to offer any kind of interesting commentary on them, don't know. But we're going to watch them, and we'll see. And hopefully, you'll uh, you'll be able to put up with the fact that I look a little bit like a Jedi, which is fine because Jedi's are cool, or a Sith Lord. That's less cool. Viper. Let's hope this works. Two swords. Are we Assassin's Creeding? It looks like we're Assassin's Creeding, doesn't it? Leave that poor camera alone. That bit right though. Poor oh, more ball. These trailers don't necessarily do a lot to Oh, twin blading. Okay, so it's a transformy weapon class. Like, nice aura. It's uh, a bit red magey, red mage but melee. Hmm. Nice animations. Those trailers when you can't see any of the abilities and you know actually how the combat works they look yeah. but they they never do a lot to to really get you interested in the job the the ones for established jobs when you know they they're getting closer to launch and they do the new job actions trailer they're interesting because you can extrapolate what you already know about the job. It's like, oh, they've upgraded that, or oh, that follows on as part of a combo from from this. But that doesn't really tell me anything except they've got a transforming weapon and they've got an aura, which I'm sure monks are going to be a bit peeved about because they obviously don't have theirs anymore. The something that I've said for a, a while now is that it's always the swords in ff14 that have had the best glamours the best mogs i love scholar for example but there's been so little interesting that they can do with a glamour for a book Red Mage, a lot of their kind of pokey sticks have have not really spoken to me in the way that I was really hoping that they would do. They, they've been more wandy than they have been actual sword. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, I've switched to Reaper, because big-ass sides are, for me, personally, cool. And more importantly, it means that they've got more of a weapon to work with. This, obviously the weapons, just like with Ninja, the, the weapons are going to be... Actually, no, are Ninja weapons paired? 
it's been so long since I've actually logged on to, to um, played ninja. No, they are, aren't they? Ninja weapons are paired. They come as a pair. Um, I assume this will be the same. So you're not going to be able to glamour the different swords individually because they have to combine, and you're not going to be able to do that. You're not going to be able to glamour them for two separate things and have them combine with those same glamours. That would be a, an awful lot of extra work. But the the job armor, it's very, very Assassin's Creed for Black Flag for me. And that's fine, because that was a cool aesthetic. Haven't played the game. Well, I've played about 10 minutes of the game. It runs like ass um, on modern hardware for some reason. I do wish... I do wish they released these trailers in 4K, but Square Enix seem absolutely determined to only ever release things at 1080p. Or, apparently, there's a new... Oh, there's, there's new options down there as well. Uh, there's a 1080p premium mode. I'm not paying for that. So, yeah. I mean, for, for, for what little they showed, that looks cool. Um... We we get a glimpse at the the new kind of backgrounds and lighting and stuff as well because I'm assuming this is done in the new lighting engine. Why why would they use it in the current one? But the bit rate's really low, so the, the, there's not a whole lot I can glean from that. Um, yeah, yeah. The FF14's combat it's it's tab targeting, it's hotkeys, it's cooldown. So there's only so much. They can do with it. It's not like they're doing full-on action combat like like Terra did, for example, or any of the others that I've I've not tried because I don't pay attention to the MMO space anymore. Um, I'm I'm pretty much done with it. The last new MMO I tried was New World, um, which I have, and I played for for a few days and thought this is busted. It's what. 18 months plus later now. I've no idea what kind of state it's in. I think they've just released a, an expansion, which apparently you've got to pay for. So it's like, nope, not doing that. But we'll happily pay for Dawn Trail, Viper. So this, this is a new job, isn't it? This isn't rela related to anything that they have done before. I'm wondering what kind of utility and stuff it is going to have. The issue is... The, I'm starting to feel the, the kind of DPS space is saturated. I mean, if you look at Final Fantasy XI, they've got God knows how many jobs at this point. And I, I never got to play the last three or four that they released because they released well after I'd stopped playing Final Fantasy XI. Though I did log back, log back into it for a, a weekend recently the, the free login campaign just to see how many hours i'd played that was not a good statistic um that's where all my time went when i was at university anyway let's go on to the next trailer which is new town tuliola 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 i don't know i assume this is just going to be a showing off the place Yes, it is. Development footage. We've got the Viper. Two swords on his back. Love the foliage. That's such a such an improvement. Have they updated the fog as well? Does that look different? Textures as a whole look higher resolution. The way the water meets those poles is still off. But it's better than it was. Sand texture is looking a little bit flat. But again, it could just be the YouTube compression. I like the sense of scale, though. Again, it's, it's a bitrate thing. Just release things in 4K square. Ooh. Yeah. I mean... It looks like a very is it, this is is this the new hub? I assume this is the new hub. 
it looks very nice. It's I'm I'm guessing that this is going to be the the music that actually accompanies the area. I would assume so. In which case, it's going to be a nice kind of bop to to listen to as you are chilling out and hanging out. I, I'm assuming they're going to do the same thing that they've done in the last however many expansions it's been, where they've got two new towns. You know, one with the the vendors and one with the the other bits and pieces. I do like the the, the new engine, but again, the, there's only so much that I can really ooh and are ah over when it's in 1080p and I'm watching it on a 4K monitor. I mean, that that just looks it's just blurry. So, but it looks nice. It looks nice. What's next? New areas, Yaktel and Okopaka. So new zones, I'm assuming. And I, I, I tend to quite like the zone fly-throughs because they give you know, a, an idea as to, to, to what kind of things are going to be there. Hopefully with some glimpses of new enemies, but we'll see. Ah, oh, the foliage. I'm getting a real kind of Yota jungle. Or your Tunga jungle. Oh, give, give me more FF11 vibes. Ooh. Ooh. We'll come back to that at 25 seconds in. Burnt trees? Some kind of deforesting or forest fire or blights? Ooh, now those textures are nice. And the mountains in the background don't look like ass. Um, which makes a wonderful difference. Those stone textures are really cool. That's impressive for, for FF14's engine. The fog's really... Oh, the cloud is very nice. But this new grass is, is wonderful. It looks like actual grass. Cactus. A vin vineyard. Orchard. Nice. Nice. Let's go back to... Where is it? They've definitely updated the fog, haven't they? I mean, it looks horrendous uh, bitrate-wise. <laughs> But you can tell that that is not the same fog that they've been using. There's, there's something about the way it's kind of diffusing things and hanging in the air that's like, yeah, this is clearly a different uh, engine. And the trees look a little bit better as well. But again, it's all heavily compressed. But the, the actual texture work, especially on those mountainous areas... One of the things that I've said multiple times is that mountains in the background in FF14, you know, mountains that you can't actually get to, they have always looked a bit bad. And these look great. I mean, the, this mountain line here is it's very sharp, very sharp edged. So, you know, it's it's been optimized with big chunky triangles polygons but it still features fairly high resolution textures admittedly the the scaling of those textures is is a bit all over the place if you look at where's my mouse cursor yeah if you look at the scaling on the textures here versus the scaling on the textures here there doesn't seem to be a huge difference um which again the further away something is, the, the less detail and the smaller things would look. And there's, there's not quite enough difference there. But it's a 10 plus year old game running on a, a 10 plus year old engine. And there's only so much they can do to update that without completely changing the look of the game. But it looks, you know, it looks like a nice area to explore i'm i'm a little bit disappointed that there weren't any kind of enemies here but i'm not 
necessarily surprised. I mean, that's really nice stone texture work. One of the things that I think I said in a, a previous video um, was that Final Fantasy 16's stone texture work is is very, very nice indeed. So, yeah, a couple of new zones there. I don't know what else I've got on here. What's next? Oh, Final Fantasy, I didn't even look at what it actually was. I just, Q later, Q later. FF16 collaboration. So they finally got, I'm sure people have already made this joke, haven't they? They got the producer of FF14 and the producer of FF16 to talk and sit down. I'm not even going to bother because I'm sure Twitter has, has made the joke to death. Um, but they're collaborating. Wonderful. How? FF16 still has some of my favourite music in a video game this year. I forget how old that logo looks now. Defeat. Okay, we're facing off against 16's Freet in 14. This paladin is clearly ignoring all of the mechanics. Tethered nails. Are you just going to stand in it? No. Did he just sidestep? Do paladins have a back step? That's got to be a duty action, right? A freet versus a freet. Nothing new there. Good boy mount. Good boy minion. And Clive glamour. Can I have Jill glamour, please? No? Oh, crap. Uh, let's, let's... <laughs> well. Toggle Mount. Toggle. Arguably the best character in FF16. Who's a good boy? That's really nicely done. Also, fur texture. On talk again, considering the bitrate's ass, um, that's really nicely textured. And in fact, th these are the new kind of uh, textures and stuff on. Yeah, because they've got the new grass and stuff. So this is all in the new, the new engine. The the baby toggle, baby toggle, puppy toggle, because that's what baby dogs are called. Um, well, frost wolves. Uh, Puppy Toggle looks a little bit flat, but he also looks very kind of JPEG-y because of the, again, the, the compression. It's it's interesting how how YouTube does this. You know, it can get all of this, this fur so crisp, and yet Puppy Toggle just looks like a low-quality JPEG. I am... I mean, I... I love, I, I really like um, Clive's default outfit. And I, I really like how they weathered it during the time jump as well. I, I do kind of want Jill's outfit more, though, for my character. Yeah, but I mean, they, they've got a few more Makoto there, and it looks good on them. The, you know, the, the specular highlights on the leather work and stuff looks... Looks very nice indeed. And of course it will look better in game than on a 1080p video. Ah, Toggle. Best boy. When is this? There wasn't a date, was there? No. No actual date, which is a, an interesting one. So is that not coming out until Dawn Trail? I can't imagine they'd put it off that long. They're going to need something to fill the the gap between these patches. You know, I've already seen a, a fair chunk of buzz on YouTube with everybody kind of crapping on, on FF14. You know, Endwalker's the worst expansion ever. So, I, is it? Really? Maybe it's just because I don't know life games and, you know, I don't... I, I, don't, I don't make any money off YouTube anyway. But... I don't 
rely on FF14 constantly giving me things to do in order to make content. Um, I don't know. I, don't know. I, would, like a I would have liked a date for that, but we didn't get one. 16. Right, extended teaser trailer. So this is going to be what this is what they always do. They they release the the announcement trailer, with some of the CGI, and then they release an extended version of it when they release the first job. So we'll get to see, I imagine, more of the Warrior of Lights as a Viper. I'm not. I, I'm really not sold on the name. If I'm honest, I would have preferred Corsair. I think they could have kept Corsair as a name. I mean, why Viper? Twin fangs, I suppose? You know, two swords? That's... Maybe they're going to do poison damage. Dot damage. But they've tried to move away from that. Or maybe they're going to move back. Maybe the new abilities in Dawn Trail are going to be... We realise we made a mistake by taking away damage over time effects. So we're, we're, we're going to bring them back. Not sure how I feel about that, but pure speculation. Let's take a look at what they've added, because I always like this. So most of this is going to be the same. Ah, blue seas, clear skies. Very blue. Boundless possibilities. My faves. I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Yeah, it's interesting that they, they were they had the sword on their hip because it's shown in game as being on the back. Purely for the glams, I suppose. Ooh. Funky guitar. Mamulja in the jungles. Law. Come now. There's no cause for panic. Hello, Estinian. Butterflies. Ooh. Okay, this is no. This one might make for a worthy opponent. Oh, ooh. Nice. <laughs> Slab of foods. <laughs> no more running. So I assume he's going to take out his second sword for this fight. Because one sword, not enough. He made a sound? A little bit more of that scene. <laughs> An unnecessary detail. Nom 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 nom. Might you have a moment to speak further? <laughs> Is it Shane enjoying a, a cocktail and pineapple? Okay, a little bit more of this. There's his second sword. Yeah. Slice. Oh, transforming. Yeah. So th this is your Darth Maul class, isn't it? Essentially. That's a nice trail. Uh huh. Last we are come to the land you call the new world. My home. So that's that's slightly different, isn't it? Because otherwise we'd have seen the sword. It, I mean, maybe maybe we did. Don't know. Dawn Trail, summer 2024. So we've got we've got a chunk of time to to fill and i think that was the end of my my playlist
I'd argue that that, that the humour in in that is is what sold sold it for me. I I, I was going to play it anyway. But the, the, generally speaking, you know, the, these CGI trailers have always been really, really cool at, at getting you pumped up for a new expansion. And I always like seeing just how much or how little we've missed important details by in terms of the cutting. You know, video editing is, is not an easy thing. And obfuscating details like the the two swords you know when when they're on the boat at the end that that requires some work and i'd have to go back and look at the the initial trailer to see yeah how they got around that because i can't remember maybe they maybe it was reframed maybe they just re-rendered it with without the sword i don't know i forget but the again plenty of kind of cool details in there nothing that's going to blow anybody's mind it's it's you know a bit more Estinian. well quite a lot more Estinian, realistically you know we've got a whole story with him being out there hunting facing off against this big monster hunter style thing uh we got a second section of the duel between the warrior of light and the guy we we got an extra a tiny extra bit with alice's fruit and you know where it actually came from which is interesting we've got some really big fish like really big fish um we got some more of ishtola we got this adorable fellow who i can imagine probably stole the show in terms of the trailer lovely fur rendering of that really nice eye texture actually as well and it was irascibly cute which is you know a uh, necessity speaking of cute We've got, we've got Graha and his taco. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm. Now I'm hungry. The, uh, the, 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 it, it's weird. I'm assuming there's going to be more of this scene. Or maybe there isn't. Maybe it's just we wanted to show food. Um, <laughs> there wasn't anything new with Thancred chatting up the pretty ladies because, you know, I'm sure Thancred looks younger there, you know. He also looks in the was it in the end orca trailer he looked a little bit off he looks he looks a bit more realistic in this one i don't know maybe maybe that's just me maybe it's because his eyes i think might be a little bit bigger because that you know that changes the the shape of your face uh Uyanjai is 100 percent getting drunk with some kind of cocktail. Well, Thancred is. In fact, there's Thancred's. Oh, you can't see it. Thancred's gun blade. So he's uh he's keeping watch over things. It seems like a nice kind of bustling, interesting city. The uh the, you know the big fiery fiery reveal is uh was impressive. I'm pretty certain the Warrior of Light is essentially immune to fire at this point. And again, we, we because we watched the Viper trailer first, we've seen the in-game version of these effects. And obviously they don't look anywhere near as impressive in-game, in-engine. But it's nice to see what they're going for. It looks okay, realistically. I mean, for people that wanted a, a Twin Swords class rather than a Twin Daggers class, congratulations, you have one what they actually do and how it works we have no clue yeah unless there's been more information about it at the uh at the fan fest i've i've not looked at the schedule or anything because i've been so busy over the last few weeks i ha i still actually haven't finished recording the patch 6.5 story stuff i did an hour and a half probably something like that the first two or three quests and that's as, that's as far as i got i just haven't had haven't had time. Yeah, Dawn Trail, you know, th th we can't judge the quality of an expansion based on a CGI trailer. But we can judge a CGI trailer based on the pedigree of CGI trailers that Square Enix has put out. And this is just as impressive as they always are. 
I, there, I, there wasn't anything else on my list, was there? Where's my cursor gone? No. Nothing else on that. So that has been a look at the various trailers and bits and pieces released for the Final Fantasy XIV London keynote, I assume it was, for Dawn Trail. I assume there's more information out there. I might go and see if I can find anything. I, I don't really have the time right now to, to watch the entirety of the keynote. But I would like to find out, you know, was there any information about the graphics engine re redo and, and stuff like that? Because that stuff, you know, interests me. Hopefully you've enjoyed Darth Demogen. Uh, watching this, I won't say I've done much in the way of reaction, but I, I'm i not that kind of streamer, YouTuber, whatever you want to call me. Somebody called me a journalist not too long ago, a games journalist. <laughs> I've got too much integrity to be a games journalist. I'm far too honest. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm going off on one at the end of a video again, aren't I? I will catch you all in the, the next video, which I assume will be for more FF14 stuff. Because people that watch my channel, and I can tell this based on the analytics, people that watch my channel for Final Fantasy XIV stuff only watch the Final Fantasy XIV stuff, and so on and so forth. If you have enjoyed the reaction, leave a thumbs up. Like the video, subscribe for more. Check out my coffee.com page and my website if you're a Metroidvania person and you're interested in those I'm trying to plug those at the end of videos i'll catch you on the next bit bit next bit next one next video i'm tired it's it's quarter past four in the morning cheerio thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time, cheerio.